Assalamu alaikum. I hope you are all doing well. Today we are going to do the diary of the 30th March 2021. So let's start from English Comprehension Diary, Unit Number 4, Part B, C, G, Complete. Okay, students, open your books. Option B is choose the best answer and put a tick in the box. They took Prophet Yusuf's shirt and soaked into sheep's blood. The king sent for Prophet Yusuf because he wanted to make him interpret his dream. Prophet Yusuf brothers arrived in Egypt in order to buy grain. Prophet Yusuf was sold in the marketplace to a man and his wife. It was a wonderful reunion of father and son. Now let's solve option number C. Complete the sentences. Allah has created you and protected and preserved you from hunger. His 11 brothers decided to get rid of, of Prophet Yusuf Islam. At this, Prophet Yaqub Islam was overcome with grief. One day, they took Prophet Yusuf Islam to a deep well and threw him into it. But none of the courtiers could explain what his dream meant. But the next seven years to follow will be bad years with famine. Prophet Yusuf's brothers felt very ashamed of what they had done all those years ago. At first they did not recognize him for they thought he was long that Pharaoh made him the treasurer and inspector of Egypt's storage chamber. You must be grateful to Allah and do good deeds. Now let's move to the next portion. The use of two, two and two. Now let's look and read. We went to the zoo. Two Tell a direction. We want to play. In this sentence, two is telling a purpose. I have two brothers. In this sentence, two is showing a number. It was too late. Here in this sentence, two is showing to be more but not good. So let's solve the exercise. Do not eat too much. Mean here two is showing to be more but not good. Are you going to play? We have two eyes. When do you go to school? In this sentence two is showing the direction. Now let's move to English language diary. Future indefinite affirmative plus negative formula page 34 concise. Okay students open your books. The topic is future tense. When we talk about an action that has happened in the future, in that case we use future tense. The simple future tense. We use the simple future tense to show our intention or plan for a later time. In simple future tense, we always use the base form of the verb. Base form is the first form of the verb. We also use the helping verb will before all verbs 
with all nouns and pronouns as you know what is a pronoun so we use helping verb with the noun or the pronoun the formula of the future tense is subject will shall plus verb ki first form which is called the base form plus object with the first person we use the helping verb shall but in the modern english you can use will with the even with the first person so let's have a look at the structure jean and i will buy book from the buy bread from the bakery donna means she here we are talking about a girl will stitch the dress at home okay this is an affirmative sentence now let's talk about the negative the formula of the negative sentence is subject will shall plus not here we will add not after helping verb plus verb ki first form plus object for the future tense you can also concern from our youtube channel milnes school and college lecture number 17 unit 5 ren and martin